Hi, I'm Bob Johnson from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. If you're looking for a tough book, rugged laptop community for tips, tricks, and more information, don't forget to watch our videos. And when you do, hit that like button as well as the subscribe button and that bell button so we can notify you on any newer upcoming videos. Hi and welcome to this week's edition of the Rugged Rundown. So I wanted to kind of give you an idea based on size as compared to the Panasonic Toughpad FZ G1 tablet. So we know this one has a 12.5 inch screen and the FZ G1 is obviously going to be smaller and could you, and, and I, I, I apologize, I looked for the jump keyboard for my FZ G1, I couldn't find it, but there is a keyboard just like this one has where you can have a keyboard attached to it as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the, the jump keyboard for my FZ G1, but in any case, I wanted to show you the size screen so you can see the little seven inch screen versus the 12.5 inch screen, there's a big difference. Now, Panasonic is made this a semi-rugged, whereas the FCG1 is a fully rugged. And yes, you can feel the rugged difference between the two units when I hold them in my hand. This has rubber bumpers around the edges, whereas this one is just all plastic. I'm sure within this gap, there's electronics. Uh, the FCG1 also has the advantage of changing the batteries. So if I want a a newer battery. I can remove this battery and put a new one in quite easily with this one clip right here. The Q2, you're out of luck. The battery is non-removable. Once the battery's gone, you're done. You can also get an extended battery to get double life whenever you change the batteries out. Uh, some of the other advantages of the FCG1 over the Q2 is the FCG1 has more ports. The Q2 only comes with a USB port and an audio port. I think they should have put a little, few more ports, but the FCG1 has an upgrade ability, so you can upgrade it, a port here, so you could add like a NIC port or a, another USB port or something of that nature. So you have a little more upgrade ability on FCG1 than you have on the Q2. Uh, some other nice features on this Q2 versus the FCG1. This one wasn't made for Windows 10. This one came standard with Windows 7. The Q2 comes standard with Windows 10. Now I will tell you when it was sold new, they gave you the option to downgrade to Windows 7 on this unit. Uh, other than that, the FCG1 definitely has more up, uh, programmable buttons, whereas the Q2, this is the only buttons available, a power button, uh, a programmable button, and a Windows button, and then your volume up and down uh, button as well, whereas the FCG1 has an A1 and A2 programmable button with audio up and down buttons, a Windows button, and then a rotating button, uh, as well as the power button. So you get a little more robust unit on the FCG1 as long as you can deal with a smaller screen. I don't know. I still like the Q2 for various office work. If I was going out in the field and I needed to take pictures, I could remove you know, I can remove this and have the camera. The FCG one definitely has that, but this one has a nicer, bigger screen. So I guess it's really kind of dependent on what you're trying to do. But I, I, I guess it's based on your application. So that's all I got on these two tablets. See you guys next week.